All right, so today uh, I need to get back onto the plugin stuff, uh, especially for YAML. Last time I kind of had an experimental kind of thing going, but like I've reverted that. Just don't really, I want to do it properly this time. So to begin with will be basically that. So here's a registration to registration that's in the bring up application. And now I need to do a number of things. So first of all, put this in the test. And the test. Have a little section up here. Plugin. Then I need a struct, which is what? Uh, next. Plugin. Struct. We have that. We're going to have. Uh, string to the file where wherever the, the the library is. Library path. We have the flow, uh, flow plugin. Make sure it's that. Um, and then I have. The init function, the init function, be simple enough. Then standard array of IMX plugin, we'll say one for the moment. We have plugin list. Then, how's how how this work? Um, boolean net item create plugin which will take in the plugin dot path Let's just change out the path ah, get out of here C string and we've got the plugin which is in plugin plugin does this return anything no not even an error code Hmm. Okay, so it's all depending on like if plugin turn false. No. Faux error code. Error code equals. No, no, not faux error. Code. Um. Function which is a void equals that uh, full get plugin symbol from last time, so plugin the plugin and the symbol we're looking for is plugin dot init function. That. Error code equals what we actually run. Return true. Okay. And then we have a D in it.
that, and then we want to do flow destroy plugin. We nullify it. Okay. The file will equal uh, ba -ba -ba. this. Uh, no, copy as HTML, copy as just regular. That, we have the init function, which we will start with, start at the beginning. Physics, I'm not sure about that yet. I No, that's that has to be linked in already. So that's not gonna work. Um, Physics and oh, right. There's two. There's an importer and an exporter. Um, okay. For the moment, so this is going to be something I'm going to have to do. I'm going to probably. Now that I'm actually getting to the point where I'm starting to implement this stuff, like uh, I realize that actually doing it that way is, is terrible. Having like uh, the initialization split up. I mean, why did I have it that way in the first place? Uh, the I yes, the idea was, oh man. The idea was that you could like very um, carefully add and remove functionality to, but you, you can have a different set of importers to exporters. I think it was, why, why was it? Yeah, okay, so, hmm. Was that was that worth it? I don't. I don't think so, really. The idea was to be able to import it as one type and re-export it as a more newer version later. I'm not really sure if that's really the way I want to go down. Because that sounds a bit more complicated than it needs to be. I could just add more and more importers. And then export as my own, as the type I desire. Um, yeah, I don't actually know. Like, I don't know. I don't know. So that allows us to remove. So we're basically back to where I was last time in basically no time. That, that, that. Ah, sorry, not that one. That one and that one. Okay. And then I need to remove it from being linked in. So this is the only location where it's actually being linked in. So faux physics, faux physics, that makes sense. So I just remove it from here. Oh, and uh... OK, 
Okay, we're back here again. Now we compile that. Uh, yes, the files are gone. They're no longer linked in. Uh, I didn't actually even try to... So after I do all of this, what I want, what I want to do is then to, at the end, I guess, do that otherwise we need to do Second one that'll allow me to get rid of our uh, position, position, uh, that, and that, and that, and that. Moving back here, just to use it in. Yep. Okay, position stuff is still there. And then I can do graphics. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Then back to here, get rid of that out of here. Right, the uh, header includes. at the three. One of these did not happen. Uh, graphics M one, okay.
Okay. Physics, position, graphics. Okay, let's go inside of here. Do we get the plugin? We don't get the plugin. Why? Oh, um, <clears throat> oh, libs, libs. Incorrect path. Okay. So now I'm just bringing those all in dynamically at runtime, which is good. Now I'm not entirely on board with, okay. So yeah, but I can do something along the lines of error code. Bring up Need that. I need a new error code for this case. bring up success function error code if function error code then I need to equals that I need to break out of that immediately and do that so these guys are gone these guys are gone code I am thinking about changing this up a little bit, but I'm just not sure. If I want to do that. I mean, this is good. This is progress, obviously. Like, I don't have to link it directly into the application anymore. I can pull it in whenever I want to, but I'm just not sure if I'm really happy with this thing right now. Or if I want to simplify things for the moment and then re-split them out later, maybe more 
when the actual need arises. I mean, is there really... Is there much need to do so? I don't think so. Hmm. Okay, I'll leave this as it is right now. It's not really great, but I can't really think of a of a like which way which path to take. Whether to leave it like this or kind of condense these and just like you know faux physics YAML register and deregister and it just does both at the same time. I don't know. I just don't. Okay, <clears throat> so. What 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 do we do next? This where is this from? Let's see if I can give it these other ones. So this is here, and so is this. What? <clears throat> okay, what do you do? You are registering. Okay, you're registering these things. The, this armature thing, which is part of the bring up application, and then what? are you doing I presume this is it right components yeah bring up register so what what are these doing here oh right i imported the armature stuff from uh the old faux resources library so what can i do about this I can merge these for sure. Okay. Redefinition internal. Let's see if I can merge these together and then I'm gonna put these into a separate library that's also brought in as a shared object. With that the with that being the case, then I can actually rip out all this and this, and then I can see like if I can figure out a smarter way to deal with the base like IMEX YAML. Uh, functionality. I'm seeing if I could just like, yeah, I just, I just need, uh, I, okay. Yeah. Stuff. Stuff. So is this part of it? No, it would be part of this down here. Yes. <clears throat> export resources, export components. simulation that so these are all back by one like that we get this for the components we want to bring in the components thank you the deregister is simply mm, here. This is mostly the same. We don't need this. We don't need this. This will be on the import side. Import armature. That was export registration. We want import registration.
those will merge. Great. Bring up register importers. So that's resources. There's components. Similar for deregistering. Okay, that's gone and that's gone. That just leaves the only exception handled thing is the settings for CLI 11, wherever that is. Oh, nope, I don't care about the hex map. Hex dump. Mm hmm. Okay, yeah, a lot of these are gone. All that's left is those two and these two. Get rid of the error codes for those. Armatures there. We'll change this up to be faux bring up YAML. Okay, and then I want to actually grab it in these error codes, please. So this becomes faux resource to faux bring up. One, two, three, four. Armature, don't care, that's go. Then we have do, 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 armature state importer. Armature pool, armature system. Okay, these are still required down here. Or oh, no, 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 no. The armature system is still part of this. No, these guys wouldn't won't be here either. So we already have pool not found, resource already exists. So I need these.
Okay, then we got uh, some issues here. Failed to register exporters. sense so we don't need the armature ones anymore or rather need to rename these Okay, so does that still work as expected? Yes, yes it does. Good, good, good. So I'll put that in as is right now. So got that, I need to ooh, not quite remove all this stuff. Uh, can I do this? That goes away. Put that back in. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Hmm. Can I just these lines? Stage those lines. Dang it! Okay. And then I need these guys back. So I just want to remove the one line. And then similar here. code yeah that's up and up and up and up uh, these two files are indeed gone that's correct these have been updated with all the extra stuff like that so all that okay um, this those two are gone that's gone that's gone that's gone that's gone that's good 
That's what I'm expecting. That's not quite here yet, though. Stage that. Okay, this is ready to go. There are several files that need to be right geared up. Okay, um, That is basically it. Okay, so that is that. Now, is this a shared object? This is not considered a shared object at all, is it? Especially because the Okay, so what I want, what I need to do then is I need to split this into two. We have exception handling, that's fine. I need another library. Um, so I need a shared object for that, which is up here at, okay. I should actually start renaming this. Uh, you know what? Oh no, not for the moment. Engine YAML shared. It's always shared, guaranteed. Which means I need uh, the header, the export header stuff from, let's say, here. So we got that. Bring up. Engine YAML, so it's just public bring up export. <laughs> That's all I really got. And well, I'll have to include that. I need that. Uh, target link libraries. Do 
would I need these things? I need at least that and that. I can probably just take both of them, I think. I don't even know if it needs to be public. I don't think it does. It could just be private. All right, with these, all that's left uh, in here and the exception handle library. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm going to need. Hmm. Somewhere in here, there's going to be stuff for exception handling or is just no. Just everything else has. Okay, how do I turn off exception? Okay, I, there's an actual thing for turning it off. So I don't have to do that by default. That's easier that. I'll still need this. So then we go into this. This is only exception handled. Yes, correct. Great. And then we want to go into the YAML in here. This is not exception handled technically, but this is YAML. Just the YAML one including those. Mm, I think so. And then I, if I try this right now, right, this will happen, which is YAML exception. Why? Oh, because I can read it as a YAML file. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I just need full YAML for that, which would be after full simulation. Just that, yeah. I don't need the more uh, more involved IMX YAML. Tell me you're going to break, please. Yes. Okay, undefined references, correct. Does these need to include? That and that. Oh, I also need to change up the uh, text that goes along with it. Export file name, full engine YAML. I need specifically I need to give it a very specific macro name. Export macro name, okay. I need that, please. Put that down. Oh, right, this needs to be uh, changed up to include. So, error code. It needs to be uh, CFI'd, FFI'd. that should bring that up we have these this is becomes a full error code same thing on this side
Go bring up export. Really? Really? You're going to tell me this? No bring up export. In this cur in the build directory, we're going to just the root slash public bring up export. It's right there. Bring up export. And you are being built as part of export registration HPP basic functionality. Okay, hold on. This guy Okay, no, because it's this guy. This guy's bringing it in, even though he doesn't technically have it linked. It's just because it's a local file that it's found, but it shouldn't be. I need to add nothing. Add nothing. Leave it. Okay, so going to build find .rep yaml .so will be right there, literally in the root directory. So that's nice and easy. Do, do, do. Build. Then you gotta give me that. Bring that in. Importers, exporters. You register. Four. One, two, three, four. That's all that. Not bringing that in anywhere. It's not linked into the main application. It's not linked into the exception handled. This is a standalone, which I'm bringing in via shared object at runtime. Everything is there. Good, 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 good. That does leave, however, here in the register basic functionality is still being run via this. Now, how does it, it has full IMAX, but doesn't have full IMAX YAML. Oh, it does through this, through I'm GUI. Why is this here? Whoops. Now that makes a bit more sense. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just want to stage that and get that out of here because that's the the, the link Lib the uh, library linking. The linking I've got is a little bit messed up. Like I got things where they shouldn't be.
get that out, out of here. So now, yes, full IMX YAML is now ing is correctly as I'm expecting it, dying. Now, I'm curious as to if I was to actually remove these, because I'm not actually bringing in IMX YAML directly. I'm pretty sure like if I load this shared object, this shared object will also bring in IMX YAML itself because it needs to link into that. So if I remove this and this and this and this, right? So if I was to make depth graph, depth graph right now, and have a look at it in the build directory. I expect to see way too much garbage. Let's remove the examples, the extras, the shaders, the tests, those things, get rid of those. Make me a new dependency graph. Refresh, there we go, that's a bit better. Um, The full application should have nothing from yet. Like if I go to IMX YAML to IMX to full ECS. Oh no, it's the other way around. Sorry. This is the downstream. This is the upstream. Okay. Physics YAML is including something. Engine YAML is including stuff, but there's no actual direct link from here to anything else. These are basically standalone. These are all being brought in. I think full IMX YAML is to that, to that, to that, to that, and that's it. And none, none, none of these are going back up to this. So that's good. It's properly detached. So question remains, if I do this, it should still try to run, right? I go in, okay, I have a function for physics YAML. I go in. There are no current exporters, so it, uh, I mean, it's going, it's in IMX source. Okay, hold on. Why is it hold what 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 why is it because to my mind actually these sub okay these IMX YAML these these YAML specific things should only be talking back to faux IMX YAML. IMX YAML is the one that should be talking to IMX. And that's it. Register export functionality, right? I don't know why I'd have to go all the way back to that. Why do I have to do this when I could just link back to the IMX library itself? The IMX YAML one. Why would I? Why? Why? Why do I have to do this comparison? I must have had a must have had a some. I mean, back in the day, I would have been like on doing per importer or per exporter kind of thing. But I'm not really following that anymore. I don't have a good reason to follow it right now.
don't think so. Because I don't actually interact with him directly. I'm literally just interacting with this. Right? Yeah. So, all I need to make sure is that Foimex YAML is itself registered. I don't actually care. I can interact directly with that without having to go all the way up to that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I need to have a bit of a think on this one. So, uh, BRB. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I don't actually need to do this. Like, actually going into uh, that point. I could probably just do this directly, like right here. Rather than doing this, I could just call these directly, like on register and then on deregister. And then have the registration, like, because this is just going to register it with the IMAX YAML. Yeah, I don't. <sighs> um, yeah. Wait, exporter, hold on. Um, yeah, I don't use it for anything but the name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get rid of this. Get rid of this garbage. Nobody knows it, needs it. It's gone. On register and on deregister. It's just useless. Yeah, no, no, I think, I think, I think. Okay, we go in, we do this, we do this, we do this. Yeah, because we're just interacting. Oh my god, yeah. Okay, I can massively just simplify this stuff then. Do, 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 this becomes this. register components should actually be first okay got one uh, position, uh, libs, yaml, this, okay. Home register becomes that. Register becomes this. Don't need that. Don't need that. Here's that. These go away, great. Something, do I do the same thing here, right? Yeah. Which I already did. I already did this on the importer side. And I, could, I just, oh my goodness. I already figured this out once and I completely forgot the lesson in like a day. Great job, me, great.
So got that, we got that. We'll have, did I already do this up here? Not yet. First order. Physics, position, graphics, YAML, bring up application. Okay, that's all of them. And then I also don't need this, do I? No. Don't need that. Let's check. Do I have like a YAML? Porter, yeah, just the YAML importer though. I don't need the other one. Hmm. Does this not do? I seriously not have um, I guess I mean I know this is always going to succeed right I don't have to deal with exception handling I think but is that must be the idea hmm don't know if I like it yeah whatever this 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 change this out for that great So that's reduced. We don't need. I I don't need the direct climax exporter anymore. It's brought in through that. You can see the EFGH. I okay. So back to this. We go inside. We're doing this. We're just checking that these things can all register, which they all can. Get out of here. Go to this point. Do we have an error code? We do not. We're clear. We added all the importers and exporters. And of course, it's not going to be. I don't actually have an actual importer available yet. Hmm. But register importer, register exporter. Do I want to do it directly? Really not sure. Because I could just do it as a function of those. I mean, would that be any sense? Not really. Not, hmm. so let's say, I mean, do I want to like, do like IFO IMAX YAML registration through this? Or actually, hold on, I can do it through this, right? If I can, uh, I can do it directly through this, can't I? If there's nothing When registering stuff, then if it's if if there's if it's not registered, then register it, and then then I can deregister it automatically on the exit. Right. 
I think that'll work. Okay, when I do this, I can fail if it's already registered. Mm. Can I check if it's registered? I must be uh, well, some way to check if it's registered. Already. Um, Exporters. Going to IMAX. Importers. Exporters. Is this really it? Is it literally just a... F ah, okay. Let me do it on the exporter side first. Mm. Oh boy, I've got a lot of C++ stuff in here. I can do an internal one. Then I do this. can go back into the YAML export registration or would it be here no not quite oh yes it would be in here if hmm that okay yeah, yeah. I'll check here Exporter 
signature, I guess. So, exporter registration name, register resource, register. Sorry, what? Where is the component one? Up here. What kind of order do I have this stuff in? Just a resource, deregister component. All right, just resource, deregister resource. Then I'm supposed to have the component ones down there. That's why I'm so confused. Um. I want to do like a reference count then? I don't know. I don't know. Ugh, I got to think about this hot, uh, more. BRB. No, I'm not going to do, to do a reference count. I'm just going to like... I'm just going to... Because there's... The reference count would be temporary, ultimately. Because there's... This is not the final iteration of this. It's it's definitely not. So, in the future, there'll be like there'll be a, there'll be more advanced ways of interacting with this. Trying to like selectively select what options you want to have registered. I think. So for the moment, no, no, no fancy footwork, no fancy garbage like that, whatsoever. Uh, do do do. do. YAML, deregister, register exporter. Deregistering though, hmm. Would only be ooh, after the deregister of the component. Like if g component functions dot empty and g resource functions dot empty. Then I would go through and uh, do the deregister. So for this, okay, deregister that and deregister that. Oh crap! No, no, no! I can't do that because of the return. Okay. Um, This um no 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 do this inside of here there we go that'll work and in here we're only doing on the success cases So even though I don't have there's no importer still. Really? Ah uh, right, that's regular functionality. Then I get down to here for the init item. 
let's say I'm going through and calling this guy. I go inside, great. I'm going to do this, great. I'm inside. If not registered, register it. Okay. It's not registered, great. I add that. Doing something else, okay. Right. Go through. So what's going on? We register everything, and then it doesn't think it exists still. Is this something like? Uh, hmm. YAML exporter signature, okay. A full YAML MX register exporter, that's great. We go through. I'm registering the exporter, that's great. There's no functionality, so we ex we add that, great. So now this as an exporter right there. Version, YAML, blah, 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 blah. Okay. We get out of here. Get out of here. That was the exporter. What about the importer? Importer? No. YAML importer. Here we go. She got the... Just with the ordering. Okay, yeah, read, uh, blah, 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 blah. If not, oh, uh, I'm at YAML, check something, blah, 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 exporter registration. Quite here. Register. Something like this. Okay, that was for that. I need to do something similar here. So I have, what was it? The exporter registered this thing. I need one similar for the importer. So I can actually check it against whatever is going on in here. So I have the full register check importer, blah, 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 blah. It's just it's just the function, right? I need to lock this up. And then to return a check register. Uh, throws that through. I need a function like this deals with uh, so it's a, uh, it's already presumed to be locked at this point I just want to do this I go through the generators I see if it is if return true return false return that otherwise so if
then I need on the include side importers that for MX check importer we have that okay then we have the importer then I can go down to the YAML registration to check importer registered now the interesting thing about this is where is it's not even here it's somewhere else isn't it down here where's the function you there if that and that honestly if that's the case then I just want to register myself When I deregister, I'm doing this. If g importer dot empty, and g importer dot oh, function dot empty. Then I want to call my deregistration. There you are. So about that, about that. I only want to do this when I'm sure I'm about to actually go ahead with this. Let's move that around. Mm -hmm. Give that a go now. There we go. Okay, so indirectly through the other things I'm registering, I'm also registering the actual core importer exporter functionality for YAML, IMAX YAML functionality. So that this is gone, these are both gone. So it just leaves the core, the functionality, and then the IMAX is all handled through the plugins here. Uh, these need to be replaced with a string that I generate from CMake through defines. So that's going to have to happen in a second. These are gone. These are gone. I have very much limited the scope of a number of things. Uh, there's much less things going on in here. Similar thing going on here. Well, that's just re that's just reordered. This, though, yeah, no longer exception handled. It's got its own separate li shared library with some private items. Okay, I can live with that. Okay, so first things first, this and this. And okay, I need the IMAX ones. This and this. Click 
close these up. Just close everything. What do we got? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, check import. If true, otherwise return that. Yeah, that's about right. Okay. <clears throat> Source IMX exporters. This thing has been updated this year. Git commit. Check if a particular IMX is registered. That's kind of it. That really is. So we got that. Um, error code, load plugin, load plugin. That goes into this, which I need to do differently still. So what's going on here? This is CFI'd. Got that, and I got that. I got this moving like twenty lines. Mm -hmm. oh, but that's going to require changes for this in here, right? Okay, hold on. Exporters, okay. When do you register that and that? Okay. Okay, um, let's get this, let's get this, let's get that, let's get the whole file actually, and then kind of similar here, this one, this one, and this one. Then we got these two next, and then we'll get these ones after last. Okay. Much like with the importers earlier, there's no longer a requirement to get the registration.
for IMAX YAML library. I don't even mention the FFI, that's just kind of pointless. Registration. this do, 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 I want to mention y which is this if Should have that here as well somewhere. On success, and on the registration of component functions as well. Otherwise, on deregister it. Okay, and I want to do something similar here. Say that that's registering it. Deregistering it here. Deregistering it here. that here, register that here, exporter name, it's just YAML, then this is just kind of changing that out, okay. XAML, then I also need to test how this is going to work on Windows DLLs because I'm pretty, if I recall correctly, they have a very weird and weird and wonky ways to how they deal with DLL globals, which is probably going to screw some things up for me, like immediately. But if that's the case, then I'll still have a better grasp on how to do this the second time around. Or the third or fourth. I don't know how many times it's been. Register with the MXAML.
Okay. Now this bit. This. 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 This and this. And then we we'll almost have this. I just need to get rid of the test, not test stuff anymore. It's real, some real code, yo. And I need to uh, include an array. Make sure I have these things here. Space that. Okay, that just kind of leaves these things now. Control, control shift F, compile definitions. Okay, here we go. This is how I do it. All right, all right. I need to add this to this compile definitions. Oop, get out of here. Link libraries, include directories, compile definitions, phone engine, yeah, mobile these will be private. And it's going to be a number of things such as this. So it'll be physics YAML. Then it'll be position lib. And where itself is, oh, so it won't even be here. This is going to be going on the, who is, does this file belong to? Just the engine library, right? Yeah, just the engine lib. So it won't be there. It'll be up here. Compile definitions. I'm going to show demo. Okay. Right. Nope. Here. Okay. And then it's like this. Uh, faux physics normal. Position. resource okay and then finally engine. now I also need to go through and I need to make sure that these are all going to stay shared this was not marked to stay shared you must stay shared yep so you 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 and finally, I oh know engine lib is already set to be shared forever, correct? YAML shared, okay.
bring up export why can you not see this from where are we looking at export registration this file cannot see this export registration is part of what for engine yaml if I go to for engine yaml uh, on the build file Compile commands go there we are here go back on the includes system user libs for imax libs yaml pu public okay Okay, going all the way to the beginning. Okay, that looks correct, that looks correct. Then we're supposed to go libs fo model. Fo engine YAML exports. It's supposed to be what build like it's all the way back here it is totally right there include that and if I check what's there without um, Bring up export. Oh boy. Okay, if I delete this file, what happens? Is it regenerated? It's regenerated. Uh, it's this, not. <sighs> Bring up that. No, that's correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Am I crazy? Oh, re oh. Simulation YAML. Is that anything to do with it? No. If I go to this public, like there's several of them. That's I understand. I understand that. Um. Simulation YAML, blah blah blah. IMAX, IMAX. 
we won in the first ones. Faux engine demo exports. And it's not here. Is it? Close, close, just close everything else. Get rid of this. Trash that. Do that. Okay, that's uh, every space becomes a new line. Let's go. It's not there. What? What's going on? Am I crazy? I must be, there's something I'm missing, something really obvious. This is part of that, not part of that for one. This is part of our engine YAML. We added to that. We have not added the include directories for it. It only worked for four because I was adding it through another through another library link. Okay, uh, right. File definitions, how did this work? When I did this plugin dir equals that, in the file it's just used like that. Okay. So, in the base that we got to go with that we got plug no not plugins that equals this physics give it position yeah give it graphics engine yaml give it right there Compile. Magic. Okay. To put all this together. Changes, changes, changes. Yaml, yaml, yaml. New error code, string array, blah, blah, blah. Infinite item, if an item fails, it gives, yeah, failed to load plugin. Otherwise, error code equals that. It returns whatever the error code is. If that, then return that, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
So that's that for now, for today. I'll just boot this up in Windows and see how that works, or probably doesn't work, but you know, whatever. I'll see. I'll see what happens. But for uh, now, for this video, that's it. So, cheers.